Good and glorious morning, everybody. Welcome to the Till. How are you all doing today? What a great day to be alive. Father God, as we fix our eyes on you today, Lord, we praise and glorify your holy name, Lord. We pray that you touch us today, Lord, that you talk to us, that you reveal yourself to us, Lord, that we open our eyes and our ears to hear what you have to say, Father God, and that we are quick to obey, Father God, so that we can stay in agreement with you today, Father. Help us not to agree with the devil today, Lord. Help us to stay away from him. Keep us covered in the precious blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Guys, I want to talk to you. Oh my gosh, this is such a good article I was reading. Um, it says, um, so we all know that Satan has a job, right? God has a job, Satan has a job. We all have a purpose, right? So the enemy's purpose, the enemy's job is to keep us Christians weak. And he does this by keeping us away from the God, from God's word. Another way that he keeps us uh, weak is dependent on the world system, right? Because remember, this world belongs to Satan, honey. He's the ruler of this world. So, but the church, we are the church, right? The church is another story. He cannot, I'm going to repeat this, he cannot stop the covenant from functioning in our church. Ooh, hallelujah. The covenant is the promise, the promise between God and his people, us, right? The covenant will prosper under any conditions. It means that it doesn't matter what the world, what's going on in the world, if you are covered by the precious blood of Jesus and you have a covenant with God, no matter what you need, God will provide. You will prosper in the midst of a drought, honey. God provides. God never spoke what he did not want. We should never speak what we don't want. Even if it's true in the natural, we should not speak it. That's what the Bible says. Um, so, you know, I say this a lot. You know, I tell people like, you know, we have such a commonality, like, oh, girl, you're so stupid, oh, girl, you you dumb, or oh, you're so crazy. I mean, I, I mean I, I'm mean, i guilty. I've done this my whole life until about two years ago. God convicted me about words. He created the universe with words. He spoke it. So what we speak has power. Words have power, y'all. So you got to stop saying things like, oh, I'm so broke, or I'm stupid, or I'm lazy. We got to stop talking like that. We are opening the door to the enemy. We have to speak what isn't as if it were. You know, it doesn't matter what it looks like in the natural. We got to trust God. I pray that you start to apply this in your life, that you need to watch what comes out of your mouth. Our spirit sustains you. Your spirit sustains us, right? The word of God is what gives your spirit energy and to keep it strong in the midst of trials. See, the devil tries to keep you thinking in the natural, the logic, right? So that you cannot receive the thoughts of God. Because when we're thinking logically, <laughs> we can't think like God thinks because we're believing the devil, right? We need to stay in alignment with God. God's word unlocks the door to the supernatural. Now, if you want to see some stuff happen in your life, let's start to agree with God. Let's start to say what he says. I'm telling you, this is it. This is just the most fascinating, wonderful thing that God has revealed to me in the last couple of years that words have power. I agree with God every day. I align my thoughts with God's thoughts. It doesn't matter what's happening in my world. I just agree with God because sometimes things in the world doesn't agree with what God's saying. So who am I going to agree with? With the world with what God says. I trust him. His word is going to come to pass. I'm just going to stand in his mighty presence and wait for it to come through. And man, that's just how I'm rolling. I don't know about y'all, but I just want to stay covered. Psalms 91 girl over here. <laughs> I pray that you guys receive this in your spirit. You start to speak and align your thoughts and your words with what God says. Please, in the name of Jesus, uh, I am on Agreeing Avenue and Stable Street. Where are you at? Holla.